YouTube channel of Kanak Info Systems LLP and today we are back with another ERP Next video. In this video today, I'm going to explain you how you can manage your subcontracting process in your ERP Next database with just a few clicks. Now, subcontracting refers to the process where you seek a service from a third party. Now, this happens mostly in the manufacturing industry wherein you supply raw materials or a product to a third party and they perform services like assembling of those raw materials or cleaning and then providing you with a finished or a semi-finished product. Now, keeping a track of all these uh, transfers and accounts could be a hefty task, we're not gonna lie. But ERP Next, makes it swift and quick with just a few clicks. So let's head right into the video and let me explain you how to do it. So we'll take up a scenario where I'm the manufacturing unit for a cupboard. And to do so, I'm gonna go to my item list first and I'll add a service item that I seek from my subcontractor. The item group for this would be service and we'll make sure we uncheck the maintain stock column here because it is a service. We cannot maintain the stock of a service in our warehouse. And we'll save this. Now I'll create raw materials in the item masters for this particular product. Now I'll send these raw materials to my subcontractor who will then assemble them and turn into a finished product that is the cupboard that I sell off. The item group for these would be raw material and make sure you check maintain stock for these items since you do have a stock in your warehouse for these. And in here I'll add the valuation rate. Now this would be the rate of the item in inventory or how much it costed me to come up with this particular item, it, whether or not I have purchased it. Similarly, I'll create other raw materials. Once we've created all the raw materials, now I'm going to create my final product, which would be a cupboard.
the item group for this would be a product and we will check the maintain stock column here since we do maintain a stock for this in our inventory in our warehouse now i'll go to the manufacturing tab and i'll make sure i check the supply raw materials for purchase column since this finished product this final product is being subcontracted from a third party so we would supply raw materials to get this product and i'll save it again now i'll create a bill of material for this particular product which we also call a bomb I'll go to operations and materials tab. Make sure that you uncheck the with operations column here since the entire assembly is not happening at our unit but at a third party's unit. So this bomb would be a without operations bomb. Now I'll select the raw materials for this. and then i'll submit it now i'll go to the purchase order list and i'll create a purchase order for the subcontracting service that is assembly of this cupboard so i'll select my supplier i'll add in my required by date and i'll make sure i check the is subcontracted column here because this particular service is being subcontracted i'll select the supplier warehouse now this could be a virtual warehouse that you have created in your database just to keep a check and a track of the raw materials that are being supplied and the finished product that are being received i'll add in my service that i'm seeking and i'll add in the rate now this is the rate that you have finalized with your subcontractor for the services that you procure for them this is not the final rate of the final product but only for the services that you seek also make sure that you add the finished good item and then save it and submit this Now we'll create a subcontracting order against this purchase order. We'll select the target warehouse which would be our warehouse where we'll be receiving our product. And we'll save this. And submit it. Once we have submitted the subcontracting order, we'll create a transfer of material to the supplier because we are supplying the raw materials. So we need to maintain that stock entry as well. So I'll go to my items. I'll check in all of the items which are being sent. And I'll save this. And submit this. So now if I go and see my stock ledger, so these raw materials have been added to my supplier's warehouse that is assembly master 101 and have been subtracted from my own warehouse which is final products triple one. Now we'll go back to our subcontracting order. And we can see the status here is material transport. Now I'll create a subcontracting receipt. I'll check in the details. I'll make sure they're correct. 
and then I'll save this and submit. Once I've done this, I'll go to view stock ledger and in here I can see that the final product covered has been added to my warehouse which is final products triple one. Now we'll go back to our purchase order that we created for this service. And we see the status here of that purchase order is to receive and bill. So we'll create a purchase receipt for this. Make sure you check in all the details. The accepted warehouse would be your warehouse where you have accepted the final product. And then you save it. and submit once we have created this we can see that the status here is changed to bill now we'll create a purchase invoice make sure you check in all the details and you check the is paid column here then you go to your payments tab select your mode of payment whatever that may be and the amount that you've paid for the services and you save it and then you submit and the status here is changed to paid so now I'll go to my account ledger and I can see that I've paid cash to my supplier assembly masters for the services that I've procured for them it is that easy to maintain your subcontracting processes in ERPNext database. If you are a current user and you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. And if you are a business owner who is trying to explore the world of ERPs, well, we would be more than happy to assist you. You can book a consultation or a demonstration with us by hitting the link in our bio. And if you like our videos, please make sure that you like, comment and subscribe to our channel.